Alrighty, my friends. I'm gonna stretch out, clear the head, prepare for random ship in three, two, one, and random. Kestrel B. Wow, you're close, Muhammad. You called Kestrel A. All right. This is one we got right at the end of our last streak, I think. Kestrel B. I think we had a decent run on it last time. And I feel like we had a discussion about which crew goes where on this one. Um, something like... Something like this, I think. Save here, about OMD with the Mantis, I think. I think it was something like this. <laughs> this is your favorite ship, Real Rock B? You want to be captain? Sure. You don't mind being a human. And you might not stay on the captain's position. Real Rock B. No Stealth Z, day's ruined. You don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> what even is the Stealth Z? What's OMD? It means obsessively man doors. It means keeping a crew on doors. Excuse me. So that free boarders don't have instant access to all of your ship. So you can vent crew that board your ship. Kestrel B, use this one when you're unlocking ships. Nice. Kestrels are really, really pretty birds. Aw. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. So if I go through two nebulas, I will get 11. 11, 10, 9, 8. So if I end up here in 8, that number matches that number. I will be able to get 11 jumps. Who came up with OMD? Was that a... Um, was that a Britnoth thing? I feel like that might have been a Britnoth thing. He's the first one I heard say it, I think. Fuck you, man. Alright, only had one damage missile. I guess that's okay. 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 Just hoping for more fires for crew kill, but uh well. Ah uh, well. Do 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 Stealth Z, cloak level ten, no shields, four times burst laser two, no engines, kappa. Okay. <laughs> what a build. What a build that would be. You could never move, but if anybody got close to you, they wouldn't know what hit them and they'd die instantly. Hard to lose with this ship? The only ship you mastered on hard mode? Hard to lose? I mean, that sounds like you're just taunting FTL to say it's hard to lose. FTL, uh, 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 finds a way. Alright, missile and an offensive drone of some sort. Okay, a beam drone. Let's hope he does not missile my shields. Death by a thousand fucking missiles. Frickin' knew it. Frickin' knew it. Okay, down though. Alright, we got our shields back. Uh, don't go there yet. There we go. I did what you say you prefer. Uh, I watch FTL. I just instantly vented the fire. Because I knew this human wasn't putting it out anytime soon. Frickin' useless humans. So useless. Ooh, double station reward. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh, uh, I didn't let you repair that. Delta Z is a cloaked space station confirmed. You just lost with the ship, got punished for investing in weapons early. This is definitely a ship, like most ships, I want to get level 2 shields before doing anything, because our weapons can get us through Sector 3, probably. But a weapon upgrade is very nice for sure. Okay, I don't see a store. Shield value, first upgrade. Okay. Um, let's go. We will go look for a store, because I would probably delay shields for a flak, although one thing I will say, it's hard to buy an early weapon when you're saving up for shields, because you got these crappy basic lasers that all sell for 10 scrap a piece. Okay, this guy's weapon's pretty strong. Do, 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 do. You went two shields immediately too, but after that the weapon investment put you far behind. How much did you invest in weapons? Nice. Wow, okay, that shield stayed down long, okay. 
But hey, you got one weapon train, uh, one shield training, yay. Speaking of, Mantis Repair Party. This is for Professor Leskinen, who I was saying that Mantis Repair is worth more than others. I'm just doing it because I don't want to move anybody else off of their stations. Three fuel, two drum parts. Not a bad deal, but I need scrap. Even though I think that would have been enough for second shield. Do, 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 All right, 17 scrap, much better. You bought a laser charger store plus scrap for upgrading and power. Laser charger. You're talking about the two shot laser charger mark one thing? Huh. All right, so how many jumps do we have? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. So I can get one more and then the store delay my shields one more time just to see if there's something in the store I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's do that. New ship just dropped. Stealth D. No cloaking or shields or weapons. Just stare them down until they surrender. Darn. Well, that extra jump was absolutely not worth. You have the three power four charge laser. Ah, interesting. Uh, let's see. If I sold two basic lasers, I would have 58 scrap. All right, well, I checked the store. There's nothing worth doing there. Just get the second shield. That is not worth nothing there. Maybe an ion bomb, but it's not worth selling two basic lasers to get an ion bomb. Do I care about buying fuel? No, I want to get power next, and then I want to save up for a weapon upgrade. Do, 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 do. After 30 seconds, the ship against that cloaking ship is intimidated by the ship being far too close and surrenders with his new augment stare down. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get boarded. Where are they going to go? It's a rock dude with how slow he is. Okay, I can vent that. Okay, let's do it. Well, that sucks. All right, we have a vented O2 that's broken, but it's fine because we have a yield bay. So we'll, well, this is not an issue. I say to convince myself that this won't be an issue. Okay. Uh, could you stop resisting so I can fix this, please? There it is. All right, this is fine. Mantis repair, uh, the fighting training. There we go. Everything's fine. Nobody's dead. It's fine. Just imagine a bunch of guys with their faces pressed up against the windows, staring you down. You'd surrender, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Makes me think of, uh... What's the race of aliens in Galaxy Quest? They're just, they just walk around like this. Because they wear those human bodies. What are they called? Uh... I forget what they're called. But it's like a race of those people, just... Just looking at you through the window. Love Galaxy Quest? Oh man, that's such a great movie. Classic. So good. Can you open all doors to devent in this situation? Devent. Oh, uh, to rebalance the O2? Yeah. Yeah, that probably would have worked. Okay, no boarding. Do, 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 do. Never give up! Never surrender! Okay. Don't think I hear a fire, but just in case. Um, I, run. There, I watched a uh, a video about the making of Galaxy Quest, and it's so cool to hear the stories of how they came up with all the little mannerisms of those alien dudes. I can't remember the name of their race. 
the main guy who was, I forget the actor's name, but I remember he was in that like 90s or early 2000s sitcom called Just Shoot Me. And the way he he came up with that, mm, yes, I will mm, uh, love to um, uh, have you help us, was it was apparently like a vocal exercise he did for a theater class when he was at university or something. No, not Tim Allen. The the bald the guy who's the guy who's got kind of a round face. He's bald in real life. Um, the main alien guy um, who talks like this. Um, um, uh, Mathazar, yeah, is that his name? I forgot that actor's name, but he's the one who came up with that in his audition because the people auditioning were like, we want you to play an alien who's trying to be human, but it can't quite be a human, right? And so he used this like ridiculous voice uh, that was like a vocal warm-up he did when he was in college or something. That's how he came up with that voice thing. It's crazy. Enrico Colantoni. Is that his name? I'll take your word for it. God, well, at least I didn't lose a jump. He's a great actor. I really like that guy. We all need your help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so great. Uh, okay, we can train. I can't train shields, though. But we can train weapons. Train weapons, and we can train dodges. So let's do it. Let us train weapons and doges here. Do this, 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 and that looks safe. Looks good. He's always smiling through the pain. <laughs> uh, that's great. The aliens are the best part of that movie, although, you know, Tim Allen's good. Um,. Uh, there's also stories about uh, Alan Rickman talking about Tim Allen's acting ability where Tim Allen doesn't like to cry in scenes or be overly emotional and there was a scene where he finally you know is sad because somebody dies or Malthazar something happens to him and Alan Rickman famously said something like Apparently he just discovered acting, you know, pretending to have emotion he didn't want to have. <laughs> Some snarky comment from Alan Rickman about Tim Allen and his not being a, 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 a good actor or something. What run is this? Number two on Armed Potatoes. Number two. Alright, this is taking a while to get these engines. There it is. Alright, we can't do shield. And we could do some cross training, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to turn this off. There. Thinking of great movies, The Fifth Element is the best Valentine's Day movie movie by far. I love uh, I love Fifth Element, but Valentine's Day movie? I guess because The Fifth Element is love? <laughs> is that why? <laughs> the speed, yeah. Sam Rockwell is great. Oh, is he the guy who goes, oh god, oh god. I'm gonna go, I'm the, I'm the red shirt, I'm, I'm the, are you talking about the guy who's like, worried about dying? Or the young kid who's, mom, I'm in a, I'm in a very touch, uh, sensitive situation here. Uh, everybody is great in that movie. I don't think there's a single actor or actress that I would rather, that would have been better played by somebody else. Alan Rickman is great. The, the young kid who's like the nerdy guy they contact. Uh, there's just there's just also good in that movie. By Grathar's hammer, I shall have my revenge. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't care about missiles, so sure I'll buy a fuel. Although, watch me get a free missile weapon next. Civilian sector, let's go. Tim Allen is not a good actor, but his career in drug dealing fell through, so he had to do something. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, 35 scrap, man. Worst place for a store. I guess I do one jump and then if we get scrap, we go to the store. If we don't get scrap, we probably still go to the store because we could sell three basic lasers for a flak and that would probably be worth. 
Lilu Dallas multipass. Yes, yes, it's a multipass. She knows it's a multipass. She knows it's multipass. Yeah, I haven't watched Fifth Element in a while. I need to rewatch that. Such a great movie. FTL, I just best. I don't know why you don't want to have friends. It's the best movie with a ceiling singing opera alien ever. Singing opera alien, opera singing alien ever. Eh, probably wasn't gonna crew kill even with the fire. You have a last name. Do I? Do I? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hey, okay, double reward. That makes this store much more likely to be useful. Do you know my last name? <laughs> Whatever he says, yeah. Uh, so many great lines in that movie. Any weapons? No weapons, but hacking. And I, I, <laughs> is selling three basic lasers to buy hacking worth? Sadly, sadly, I think it's not. And as much as I want to buy a backup battery, I can't do that. I can't do it. I think I have to do nothing at this store. Sell all four <laughs> verse la or basic lasers, buy hacking, dot, dot, dot. Hope we find some free weapons. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. One of, your few movie where, one of the few movies where the main protagonist and antagonist never actually meet. Is that right? I, I guess the main antagonist is... Um, the guy... Not one, two, three, four stones! You gave me zero stones, zero guns, or whatever. Uh, what's that guy's name? Gary Oldman never meets Bruce Springsteen. Whatever his name is, man, my name. My brain's not working. Gary Oldman and whoever the main actor guy is. Your three basic lasers are in storage. Bruce Willis, thank you. Because you've already replaced them, then yes, okay. Then yes, it would be worth Sadly, we are not at that point. Thank you. Remembering actors' names while streaming is like got to be one of, apart from math, one of the hardest things to do on stream. I can never remember act remember actors' names when I'm playing a game, reading chat, and trying to remember random stuff about um, movies, especially because I'm terrible at remembering names anyway. They don't meet on the ship with a self-destruct sequence? Fuck this. Uh, no. I don't think they do. I know that Gary Oldman shoots up into the ceiling at uh, Mila Jovovich's character. But uh, I never thought about it. But you're right. They never they never interact. Bruce Willis interacts with the, like, the leader of the alien dudes. When he negotiates and shoots the guy in the in the head. Anybody else want to negotiate? Yeah, they never meet. That's cool. I never thought about that. What a strange bit of trivia that I'd never heard before. Your girlfriend always mixes up Bruce Willis and Kiefer Sutherland. Really? Okay. That is weird. Neither... <laughs> that doesn't seem close at all. I can definitely see some actors being mixed up, but Bruce Willis and Kiefer Sutherland. One, I know more, because didn't Kiefer Sutherland do, like, a ton of, like, Shakespeare stuff? He didn't really do... I guess he was in 24, and that was an action, action TV show. Jesus, three different intro things. Let me do stuff, game. Let me actually press my buttons, please. Perfect Brutes movie night. Fifth Element, 12 Monkeys, Die Hard, Unbreakable. Never seen 12 Monkeys. But it must be good. Oh, God. That's that's out. Uh, my doors are bu b busted. Borked. Right, probably going to need help doing this. Okay, we're good. Having to do a lot of fixing in a vacuum today. Zorg meets Lilo, Lilo, but never Corbin. Okay. Twelve Monkeys, best Pratt, Bat, Brad Pitt movie. Guess I need to watch that one. 
One is a good actor and the other is Kiefer Sutherland. Ah. <laughs> Apparently he's in Metal Gear Solid 5. Who? Kiefer Sutherland? Speaking of Bruce Willis, didn't he I think he recently announced his retirement because of I think he's been having like memory issues or something. Poor Bruce Willis. He's he's great. I love Bruce Willis. One, two, three. Alright, I think my best chance of seeing a, my second store is one, two, three. And I see everything but this one and this one. See that one we can get. See that one we can get. Okay. Back from dog walking GGM's Olden Sea. Thanks, uh, Sleeping Dragon. Now let's hope we can actually find a weapon before we get to Sector 3 here. Missile ship, don't hack my weapons. Okay. Uh, hacking my dodge kind of sucks too, though. Means we are guaranteed almost to take this first missile. Alright, alright, it's not too bad. Mental age hit Bruce Willis hard. Sad, man. Oh, man. Triple dodge? Come on, game. His missile's gonna be up, isn't it? Hopefully he started a fire there. Yeah, sad for Bruce. Yeah, that is super sad. Sometimes when I have hard times remembering, like, actors' names and stuff, I worry that I will also have mental age hit me pretty hard because my brain sometimes feels like a couple ticks down and I don't, I don't remember anything. But then I remember I have, like, 80 Christmas carols memorized every year, so... Maybe my memory is still good, and I add one every year when we add songs for our Christmas caroling group. So maybe maybe my memory is fine. I don't know. Dementia is what he has. Yeah, that's sad. I have an aunt who I think is suffering from that. All right, so if there's a store here, 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 or here, we can get it and still get to the exit. Hmm. All right, two more chances at the store. We've only seen one, so unless our store was here or here, we're guaranteed to have one up here. I sure hope we have one. Because if I get, if I don't get a store with a weapon, I'm going to sector three with this weapon system that will work, but I don't want to be my weapon system. All right, so this is this is safe. All right, unless you move, what the hell are you doing, dude? I did not tell you to move. Can I crew kill this? Clone Bay, three crew. Um, your grandfather lived to be 101, surviving both world wars, died to COVID right before he died. He said, how boring. Okay. It's a weird story. How boring. What was he talking about? <laughs> Dying? Little spooky thing to say. I don't think I'm crew killing this. Level 2 clone bay. Can just shoot O2 slowly. Uh, yeah, I guess so. And then kill clone bay after that. I've probably done too much hull damage, right? I guess I'll try. Probably too late now. You're right, I could have probably done that. Yeah, I think we've done too much damage too. My bad. Especially with a level 2 clone bay, I'd have to hit it twice. Yeah, we're not getting it. We were reading last week that they did an experiment and found that changing up the smell of your bedroom each night before you go to bed can help improve cognitive, cognitive function. Holy good reward. Okay, I don't miss out on the... Uh, uh, who killed there? Changing up the smell of your bedroom weird so you just get a bunch of different um like you know febreze flavors and spray a different one each night that's weird oh he meant covid was a boring way to die after what he'd seen oh okay okay basically just need to shoot o2 until it's broken then every time they get level one repair you do exactly one point of damage yeah yeah i could have seen that yeah never punished but i am punished because i didn't find my second store so that means guaranteed my store was here or here, because I'm 
sure I saw every other potential store location, so that sucks. I feel like I don't have a lot of distress things I can do. I can't do giant alien spiders. I can't do carefully cut the ship out. I don't have any NG blue options. I guess sometimes distress can be ship fight. I guess I'll go here. I need to hope for an early uh, Sector 3 store or an exit beacon store here. Okay, this is not a safe fight, so I'm not going to go for a crew kill. Okay, now it's safe, so maybe, okay, with a, okay, he might have, with boarding this might be safe though. So don't kill him. It's a rock, dude. Okay, the rock will board, we kill him, and this will be a crew kill actually. Although, <laughs> well this fire, I don't know if the rock will ever board, I might have to wait for him to repair weapons? I don't know, we'll just wait out the fire, see what happens. Kestrel B is pretty bad at distresses, yeah. Like, they did those essential oil diffusers with like vanilla, then cut grass, etc. And the folks who were in that group improved on base scores and mental tests and outperformed the control group. The running theory is that it has to be rela related to smell being closely related to memory. I could see that. I could definitely see that. I know when a certain smell will hit, like, if I smell a certain lady's perfume, it will immediately take me back to my band teacher in high school because she wore that perfume. Perfume. Keep this safe here. Of course, that guy had to run through fires. Okay, killed himself. I don't think I crew killed this now because this guy's not boarding. Wow. That basic laser fire. So he's never going to board us now, right? Unless he resists a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Their rockman alone puts you out an entire room full of fires. That's never happened for you. Well. Holy crap, a triple reward. All of my non-crew killing is getting rewarded. Beautiful. Um... They've done tests that show loss of smell is an indicator of dementia. Man, I might just have to go buy a bunch of different um, air fresheners now and start doing that then. You're reading that poor candle reviews on Amazon correlate to an increased level of COVID infections. People get it, can't smell their candle, then blame the candles. Yikes. Minor downside, downside that oil diffusers are essentially nice-smelling pollution. Okay. Well, are there... Smell things that aren't pollution, like Febreze and stuff. I know, with that reward, who cares? I'm missing out on the crew kill for sure. Was it Zultan Sea that ended the last streak? Yes, it was, Siri Leader Eater. That's why we started this streak with Zultan Sea. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll do that. Still hoping for a store with weapons, though. I'd rather go Pirate over Mantis, I think, but I don't want to have a Force to Abandon, so I'm going to go Mantis. Auction could have burned down, theoretically, on that last ship. Oh, yeah, we just got free distraction, boys. Hey, instant store. All right, store, come on. Weapon or hacking? Now I can afford those things. There's hacking, and there's weapons. Okay, we got a choice here. 24 is a pretty nice score. It is. Four away from the cycle. Um, somehow the only smell that got bricked for you by COVID was pesto sauce. You used to absolutely love it. Okay. Um, of these weapons, Holdeem's probably the one I'd most want to use, but I definitely want to get hacking here. I can do that and get Holdeem. Is that worth? I think generally Febreze type stuff isn't pollu pollution. Stuff like scented candles can have higher particulates than traffic fumes. Wow. Next step is to measure the cognitive improvement when you hotbox your significant other. I don't know what that means. Uh, you kept your sense of smell taste completely when you had COVID. Wow. Best weapon in the game. Hole beam? Oh, wait. Firebomb. <laughs> I have time off firebomb. Uh, I'm thinking about getting this hole beam, actually. With hacking, a couple lasers and hole beam. All right. Let's get rid of one basic laser. Although this is good for crew kills. 19 bombs. It's slow. 
I feel like it's too early to be going into that for boss fight crew kill build. I'm just going to get the whole beam. Double basic laser plus hacking whole beam is probably the build I want to use for a bit. This will be good against two shields because we can hack piloting. I think he meant farting under the covers and sticking them under the blankets. Ah, that's hotboxing. Okay. I remember my friend who was married in college did that. I never... That seems like such a mean thing to do. I guess it's supposed to be funny, but... Forcing your significant other to smell your farts just seems mean and not funny. But I guess maybe that's funny to some people. It's also called a Dutch oven. Okay. I guess maybe I have a different sense of humor than some people. To me, that's just like... How is that not bullying... You're bullying your spouse, aren't you? Significant other. D D D D. Smell my colon, yeah. The humor is in that it's evil. I guess people who like pranks probably think that's funny. I've never been a big pranking person, so. I I think sarcasm and Witty wit witticisms are funny, not, I don't know, forcing people to smell your inside of your body. Uh, okay. 11, 10, 9. So I need to be here on 9. Okay. You're inside of your body. Yes, I said it. So I need to go down and around here. So let's check if there's stores up here. Probably don't see another store. There's a brilliant video oh, video of a married couple in bed. The wife slaps the shit out of him and pretends to be asleep. He nonchalantly pretends he doesn't know it was her, wraps her in the covers, and lets rip. Okay. What a great relationship. And they were and they stayed married for 70 years, continually abusing each other. It's like me and FTL. Enjoy the abuse, I guess. Okay, what do we got here? We are safe, except Mom could do stuff. But let's see if we can crew kill this guy. Oh, let's do this. Damn it. Okay, two crew, including a, an NG. Um... I don't know if I'm going to be able to crew kill this. Oh my god. Stop bombing my crew over and over, you non-AI piece of crap. Okay, we dodged a shot. Good. Okay, so he's not going to board anymore. Okay, Jesus. All right, well, I have to hack him, apparently, because he's just dodging 80% of my shots. I did not mean to have that going. Okay. Why? Why are you still firing? I... The hell? Okay, apparently I kept firing that. When I didn't mean to. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. What an annoying fight. That's freaking small bomb. Deleting my systems. Uh, the dog that farts in the intake side of a fan to a guy that's using the fan to cool off in a bed under the covers. Alright, dog's doing it's kind of funny. Because I don't think they're doing it on purpose. The woman that sprays fart spray on the intake to some guy wearing a Trex dinosaur suit. Uh, I've seen that one. Uh, what's up, Grima? Like, accidentally doing it? Sure, that's kind of funny. But on purposely doing it just seems like you're being mean. Would a second bomb and hacking have killed that human? 
Yes, and I was ready to move him if I saw a bomb land there. I would have, I had him selected if you didn't notice, and I was going to move him up there if it hit that. Okay. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. We can see every jump, so if there is a second store, I will be able to find it. Almost have enough for another weapon upgrade, and I can get level two hacking right now if I want to. Oh, T-Rex dinosaur suit. That's what that was. Sorry, yes. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't have hacking. Good. His weapons are pretty scary. Damn, he has level 2 piloting. Okay. Uh, maybe I should have hit his shields instead of his weapons, but I wanted to reduce his offense. Okay, I need him to dodge nothing here. Good. All right, doesn't get out. Perfect. Oh, he had shield value points, so it's good that I did that attack then. I will be able to hack. Uh, no, he won't repair because hacking is slowing down his repair. Beautiful. What race would make the best soup? You bet Mantis would taste like delicious lobster. <laughs> Human would taste like Soylent Green. You bet Zol Zoltans would make for the best energy drinks. Yes, yes. Sounds legit. Okay. Do I want to do that? Whichever upgrade I do, I think I'm going to want power. So I'm actually going to do power. Mm, actually, I'm going to do nothing first, because if there is a store here, I want to save for better weapons. I uh, can't do giant alien spiders. Ship sucks for distress beacons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zoltan do is people. <laughs> Rock has the best texture. Oh, god damn it. Giant alien spiders. Solar flares with free borders and no snacks. Oh. Yeah, come on in. The venting's fine. Oh, this has been a not great Mantis Sector so far. By not great, I mean it sucks. So my last chance at the second store is here. So one, two, three, four, out. Crystals are like rock candy. No, no, we turn them into juice. No longer people, only juice. Okay. Something red looms at the man. It's the mantis with boarding and missiles. I'm having to use drone parts every time because they're not safe fights. I bet you go. Okay, that's fine actually. Okay, I didn't hit my weapons at least, uh, and I did get his missile down. Good. All right, this might be a crew kill. NG. Um, God, this is the second or third guy who's had second shield and value point. I think I've done too much hole damage. I don't think we're crew killing this. Unless we get a fire. Nah, we're not getting a crew kill. Let's kill him. Just kill him. Good good reward, though. Free field 21 scrap is not too shabby. Man, how could, how could rock as a soup have good texture? Eating rocks doesn't sound like doesn't sound good at all. Sounds like it'll break your teeth, is what that sounds like. Alright, let's do power and that. Or do I just do the weapon? You know what? I'm gonna do... Yeah, I'm gonna do that and not the power yet, though, actually. You have to boil them all day to soften them. <laughs> Boiling rocks to soften them. Alright. 
Uh, does that work? Oh my god, these empty jumps. What a terrible sector, man. No, well, I guess, did I get the hacking and the whole beam at the store? Poking at a missile. Thanks for the free stuff. Need some hot sauce, too. Okay. This rock soup doesn't sound very good to me. 18 for auction. This is actually a cheap upgrade. I'm not going to do it and hope I don't have forced uh, slug, which we don't. Okay, so we have Rebel or Abandoned 4. Well, Rebel 4 is what killed Zoltan C, but Abandoned 4, I guess it's only single borders, but still single Lanius border plus mind control is still pretty sketchy. You mean I didn't want that map? Shocking, I know. Boiling to soften works for most meat. Why not rockmen? Because they're made of rocks. It's all about the way you prepare them. First you soak the rock in an acidic marinade for three days to soften. Then you dry them and fry them. Outsides will crisp up and give a nice crunch, while the inside will stay soft and juicy. <laughs> it sounds delicious until I remember you're talking about a rock person in a video game. But good job. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to avoid the abandoned. Rock soup is the kind of food you only really want to eat when you're stoned. Alright, pun time, huh? don't have the power for all this. Alright, let me get one power so I can use level 2 hack and get the weapon upgrade with power next. Lanius would have extra crunch because they're made of metal, huh? Defense drone mark two. Okay. God damn you, shitty game. He's about to wreck my shields here. Okay, well, his weapons are down at least. The frickin' angle that that crap went in. Giggity. Screwed up. Wasted a drone part, man. The angle being perfectly lined up means de depowering screwed me. Okay, double reward and we got two drone parts back. That kind of makes up for it. But man, that sucked. That sucked to lose that drone part because we got screwed by the angle. Screwed by the angle. Rock and stone. It gives a whole new, new meaning to rock and stone. Thinking of horrible foods, y'all ever had a Twinkie dog? It's like a corn dog, but the outside layer is a Twinkie and it's deep fried. That doesn't sound terrible at all. Although I don't know... It's been a while since I've had a Twinkie since... Aren't they out of production, Twinkies? Deep fried Oreos is a common thing in New York food fairs. Since we're on a scatological theme, back when you were doing caving expeditions... Go ahead and do this weapon upgrade. You were doing caving expeditions. That's cool. Just a great start to that story. We used to camp deep underground and carry our poop out and seal the drums. Okay. Um, one of the girls left her personal caving bag behind, and a mate of mine put a poop drum inside it and left it baking in the Spanish sun for weeks. At the end of the expedition, it was returned to her. <laughs> oh my god, that's so gross. Oh, that is a gross story. Well done. Well done on your gross story. Regarding Twinkies, Hostess got bought and manufacturing restored. Oh, cool. All right. Hostess was bought out and Twinkies came back. I had not heard about that. All right, double missiles and a Pulsar. Let's hack your weapons. I think we let the laser fire. It fires before the pulsar goes off. Yes. Hack. Beautiful. No weapons for you. Hope your friend got her new bag. Got her a new bag. You didn't realize they were out of production, Twinkies? Yeah, it was a whole big meme. Well, a big meme. Uh, I don't know if that was the meme for... What was that zombie movie, Zombieland, where they kept eating Twinkies? Was that a meme on the Twinkie going out of production? Or maybe I'm getting that mixed up with real life. 
They also make large zebra cakes now. Okay, cool. I think I know what those are. The white and black uh, cake things with icing. All right, so two nebula jumps will get us 10. He did get that person a new bag, but it's still a hideous thing to do. Yes, that's that's terrible. Funny story, but terrible. All right. Looking for stores in all the wrong places. That was because of the Twinkies never expire thing. You're not sure where they, that came from because Twinkies definitely expire. Okay. Okay. So the zombie land thing had nothing to do with Twinkies going out of business, I guess. All right, we can get we can check every jump in the sector except this one and then we could die for that one if we go one two and then around if that's a store we're gonna go that way maybe go down and around for it yeah I'm sure Twinkies eventually just get like hard or something god damn it stale and stuff why am I getting nothing but empty jumps and free god borders oh Jesus I hate this event there's just no positive thing from this event just free borders that you get nothing from such an annoying event now I gotta heal we're taking the jump and I don't want to take a solar flare. All right, so seven, six, five, four, three, two, okay. Zombie Land was just a Twinkie obsession storyline, nothing much else. I mean, the scene with, um... Oh, see, names, names. The guy from Ghostbusters was really funny. Oh god, hacking in a missile disruptor right after that bullshit fight. If he has an iron intruder drone. Oh, I better get out of the heal bay because if they hack that. Okay, they hack my piloting. Alright, hack. Jesus, he's got another D. FTL, I just I just don't hit my fucking weapons. Go F yourself, you shitty game. Oh fuck you game. Oh, Jesus. Okay, the missile's down. Look at this bullshit disruptor, man. Look at this shit. Look at this shitty fight. This is so... So effing... Imbalanced. Single missile, double fucking fire every goddamn volley. You gotta be shitting me right now. You gotta be shitting me. Death by a thousand... Fucking missiles, man. Oh, I need to get out of this fight, and I can't because of hacking. Every fucking missile has started a fire so far. Every fucking missile has started a fire. Am I dead from this ship? I can't get through because it's defense drone plus mark two shields, level two shields. Get me the fuck out of here. I hate this game. Okay, I watched FTL, it's fine. Bill Murray, thank you. Do I stick around for this fight or not? If I knew that he had like three missiles left or something, maybe I'd stick this out. I have no hacking, my weapons are broken. If I backtrack, I'm in trouble. Rebel Disruptors, man. Rebel Disruptors are so stupidly imbalanced. I was talking to the guy at my church job who plays FTL recently. Talking about how Hollow Shadime had a 120-something streak. And he's like, how is that possible with the stuff that can just kill you in this game? And I said, yes. And literally my example was Disruptors with missiles and hacking and drone parts. This is so effing imbalanced because all of the downsides of missiles... Hacking and drone parts you don't experience when you only have to do one fight. I know I'm running, but I don't know where I'm going because I don't have my weapons fixed.
fixed and my hacking is broken broken i think i have to run back here and then go down and around and hope i can still get a store so if i go up this way and have another like asteroid field plus rebel disruptor fight i'm just effing dead god damn it i hate disruptors all right i'm going down to the nebula to recover oh god damn it shitty game Right, it's fine, it's fine, we're still alive. We can just find a store of the flak we can recover. Freaking cheating ass rebel disruptors. What was that? That was a combat two drone. Um a defense two, so that's five drone power. Two shields. Uh, a one or two damage missile, plus level one or two hacking. Ugh, just stupidly overpowered ship in every way. Jesus Christ. Oh, it was a combat one, sorry. Did I say combat two? It was combat one plus defense two, which is five drone power. You're right. I, I misspoke. I meant to say combat one, defense two. And I said combat two, defense two. Just going to one more nebula does get me an extra jump now. One, two, three, four... I can only get a store from here, here, or here now. <sighs> One damage missile, plus a two shot laser. So it's only a three power weapon system. That's really good. All right, let's have Rock be on piloting. Ah. <sighs> Shows you how stupidly overpowered missiles are. A one, a single one damage missile, and we take half our health because the missiles are stupidly broken and unba imbalanced. And I hate them, and I wish they didn't exist. Rock replaces rock beyond piloting. Sounds fair. Yep. Jesus. Um... Okay, we shot one eye on down. Apparently I have zero dodges all the time. <sighs> this is a frustrating run, man. This ship should not feel worse than the Zultan Sea that we just played, by the way. But it's feeling worse right now. Why? Because I don't have a damn flak, that's why. Pretty good reward, though. I'm running out of drone parts. I need a store in the worst possible way, just to get drone parts and repairs. FTL sends the comment about easy win. Yeah. Who is the one that said this ship is almost unlosable? Who said it? Who said it? Was it you, Real Rockby? Somebody said it. I'm trying to jinx my streak. Saying stuff like that. Don't be saying that. FTL will kill you at any time with a single Rebel Disruptor BS fight. Still no store. Hacking auto hacker. Running away. God damn it, if he hacks my weapons. Okay, that's a good hack for us. Okay, only level one piloting. Yeah. I didn't need to fire everything at piloting, but level one, I'm low on power. With level one hacking, needing to reduce the dodge. It's hard for me to micro these weapons. It's still your favorite ship, even though you jinxed us. Okay. Okay. Thank God, a store. Okay, store, save me. Store, save me. Your hatred for energy bombers began on this ship. You were on your personal best streak, and an energy bomber with four low power weapons and a combat plus combat one and beam one utterly disassembled you out of the blue. 
Okay, backup battery, some mid-tier weapons. I need drone parts, I need repairs. I don't know if I can afford to get a whole laser right now. Maybe I do. Let's go to at least there. I really want backup battery. I'm gonna take that. Rugby, thank you for the gifted sub. Is this, <laughs> is that an apology for jinxing us? We can get hole two and hole one to go with our hole beam. I'm actually thinking about hole one right now. Sell a basic laser, buy a hole one. Decide grade, but eventually be better. And then spend the rest of my scrap on drone parts. Think about selling distraction buoys. Rakshasa, what a name. Thank you for the follow. Hole two is much better than hole one. I guess I could go hole two, hole beam. Yeah, because I got fire and breach. It's too it's true. You're not sure that's much better than keeping basic lasers? No, I don't think it is much better. At all. Problem is whole laser is more expensive. It's not an apology, just remember that's a good tradition to support your favorite streamer from time to time. Well I appreciate it. And I'm gonna call it apology. <laughs> whole team is whole beam with basic laser to upgrade onto is alright. Yeah, what I could do is sell two basic lasers, buy the whole laser two, keep the basic laser as the next upgrade, and then I could probably buy one or two drone parts. Whole two is going to be later, better later, true. Here with the prime sub, Rakshasa. Appreciate the Rakshasas. Not sure if I'm saying your name right. I don't think I want to keep two basic lasers. Because I doubt I ever get to a point where I find no other weapons and I'm using two other basic lasers. So I'm going to sell one, keep one as a thing to upgrade into, buy two drone parts and two more repair. Let's do that. If I hack shields, this is going to feel a lot better. Or I can hack weapons and get through three shields still barely. Thank you for the 200 bits, Tigo, and the 200 bits, Mr. Breadpaps. Pull a weapon build, let's go. Ha! <laughs> Alright, I'm still glad I did what I did because I wouldn't want to use this because how slow it is, but nice free stuff. Nice free stuff. Ugh, terrible sector choices. What was I hoping at a red sector? Um, I guess Rebel Stronghold, I guess. Whoa, I have no rock live mine protection, do I? Do I have to go Mantis Homeworlds? Oh my gosh, Psychonaut just gifted two subs. We got a we got a hype train going. Thank you for that, Psychonaut. Appreciate that. Rock Live Mine potential and rock control. They're Mantis Homeworlds where we just get boarded and wrecked by Mantids. Full Laser 2 destroys the boss too. It's a great weapon. I, I don't disagree. I think it's actually the best of the whole weapons. Maybe Hole Beam could give it a run for its money, but Hole Laser 2 is a poor man's rich man's heavy laser for the breach and fire chance. Might be able to renew acquaintance with the ship collectors in Homeworlds. Would I want ship collectors? Because that's a guaranteed Mantis bomber fight. Second part of that fight. I do not know that I deal well with a bunch of Mantis borders. What I feel like I need is a store with mind control. Maybe even more than cloaking. Best whole weapon would be a whole chain laser. Sadly, that doesn't exist. I think I'm going to go Mantis Homeworld just because Sector 5 rocks with cloaking and missiles sounds like GG. I don't want to go Mantis Homeworlds, but I think it's the lesser of two evils here. Definitely can't go for Kazak. We're far too behind in, in upgrades to get level 2 medbay, level 3 sensors. Far, far, far too behind. Get doors ASAP? Maybe. Maybe. 
I will say the ship's venting is not terrible. So hopefully with venting and mantis human we can deal with the borders. I'm going to try to conserve drone parts where I can as well. Good. Okay, well he just set his own dude on fire. Which I'd laugh at if it wasn't actually burning down my heel bay. The firebomb is actually kind of terrifying. Okay. Alright, this guy really hates my heel bay. Man, that just kills him anyway. I was going to see that a crew kill, but... Uh, Rock Shalsa says, No problem in following on YouTube. Just loving all the FTL. Finally thought to come on in and give you the sub. Really appreciate that. Wish you the best on your streak and becoming partner. And you did pronounce the name right. Really appreciate it. All, uh, always, anytime somebody drops by to drop a sub is huge support for the stream. Really appreciate it. Here's the plan. First you board in the med bay when, where anyone that's on their ship will easily defeat you. Then we drop a firebomb in that room which you are in. <laughs> that's what their captain said to their boarding mantis. Sir, I'm not sure about it. No more time to talk. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a plan. Glad that guy's not my captain. Sir, can we discuss this strategy? No time. Uh, the fight's starting. Go. Okay. There's a five-room swipe at the whole beam on that ship. Okay. Sorry, I missed it. I'm still not very good at swiping on hard no pause. I will be the first to admit it. One, two, three, four, five. I can get those distresses. Mainly, I just want to check out that's a store or not. Geneva Convention probably has something in there about attacking medical facilities. Literally a war crime. Yeah. Three shields. Ugh, Rebel Rigger. He's going to be running, isn't he? Okay, defense drone. Okay, at least his weapons aren't terrifying. We hole laser his weapons. Hole beam across here. Because that'll pull the pilot. Not my weapons. Good. Good dodge. He had two drones. His two drones blocked two shots. This guy has a shield plus value point in sector four, by the way. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I hate this game. Literally blo blocking my entire volley with his defense drones. Okay, all right. It's fine. We took no damage. This game is just being as annoying as it possibly can right now. A defense one and a beam drone, and he blocked two out of three of my first volley. No counterplay to that. The saddest thing you've ever witnessed was you were quad boarded by NGs. <laughs> you were quad boarded by NGs, and the enemy ship small bombed them. <laughs> uh, that's pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got an amazing idea for a plan. You toddlers over there who don't even know how to use weapons and die to a stiff breeze, go attack these people that have literal swords on their arms. Don't worry, we'll help you by spraying the room you're in with napalm, but you're not allowed to leave that room, okay? Ready? Go. Good play, good play. Could imagine playing on no pause. That's why pointing out micro is so easy for you. Yeah, yeah. All right, there is my store. All right, I'm hoping for mind control, which we have the exact amount for, and we'll sell the burst laser three as well. You don't have to feel sad about that because NGs feel no fear. <laughs> well played, well played. There's the mind control. Now I'm not as scared of mantis boarding. That's going to help a lot. All the fuel to repair. Already checked there's not another story, yes. And two drone parts. Okay, now we should be able to deal with borders a lot easier. Now I need some engines, some power, and some shields, and then eventually cloaking. So we are a little far behind, I feel. 
literally the forest. They send in their rolling babies, babies at you. Oh, that's right. They do that in the forest, don't they? Jesus, this is the third. Is this the third sector in a row with this stupid event? Who says long range scanners don't? Uh, long range scanners suck. If I had long range scanners, I wouldn't have had these three empty jumps with three borders and damn free solar flares, man. Long range scanners, best dogman in the game. Gets me out of these stupid jumps. Makes me avoid these. Waste of space jumps we keep getting. I swear, man. Third time this run. Absolute waste of a jump. It's not wasted. You got fighting training on your Mantis, Rand. Yes, I'll trade that fighting training for scrap, please. May I please have some scrap. Thank you for the follow, Bob. I could have gotten Glade Beam and... Had Glaive plus Burst Laser 3, Kappa. I sure could have. You were allowed to pat yourself on the back from time to time. You definitely deserve the praise. Hard mode, no pause is crazy. Thank you, Avi. Appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to hack. Oh, these weapons are going to line up pretty well. I don't have cloaking. All right, we're going to we're gonna Masala maneuver this. Because I have just enough... To get through shields with, with um, with what I got. But I need to hit all three shots. This guarantees one weapon goes offline. That helps. There it is. Beautiful. And somebody said something about the swipe. Well, maybe it's you, obviously. This is something about there's a five swipe. You're you're assuming that the shields stay down long enough. Um, I might be able to crew kill this now. Of course, if when I hack shields, it's more likely to be possible. Hack the bomb. Ah, uh, no, we've done too much hull damage. He's gonna kill it with just attacking the weapons. That right there shows why whole laser 2 and burst laser 2 not as good as flak when using a beam. Those three shots hitting at different times means my entire beam did not get through. That's an amazing double reward, though. Shield trained rock dude. I will put you right there. You got to kill humans. How is that wasted? Because those humans didn't bring snacks, so it's a waste. Killing humans but not getting snacks for it? It's a waste of human killing. I could have gone to another jump where there are humans to kill who had snacks, which is way better. Killing humans who bring snacks is way better than killing humans who don't have snacks. This is this is this is the stuff we learn on this stream. It's only worth killing humans if you get snacks for it. So I want double distress. Can't do giant alien spiders. Do have some rock for blue options now. We have to carefully cut the ship out. I'll do one distress. Long range spanners, yes. I got into a scrap, not the scrap I wanted. Okay. Killing humans is always good, okay. I sure hope. Um nobody at the FBI is listening to our discussions when we talk about how much we like killing humans around here. Okay, double fire. Might be a crew kill here. I have a feeling it won't be because there you have a heal bay, but we'll see. My control, maybe. If I stop this guy from appearing. Only I can control you to go into the shield room. Okay. Well, okay, if this fire spreads in the heal bay, we might get this. There we go. Only two health left, so I need to be very careful with my shots. Alright, my control might come up in time to do this. Damn, he put the fire out in time. Um... The only way we crew kill this is what? Him going into fight a fire again. 
and then shooting him when he's below 15. Okay, if I wait, this might do it. Just don't do the damage there. Okay, didn't do the whole damage. Him going to the aisle on fire shields does it. Beautiful. Uh, well, let's ha- uh, engines burned down. We got it! Ha <laughs> ha! We did it! One health to spare, and then the ship is gonna burn down from shield burning. Beautiful. We did it. Get that crew kill. Self-care Sunday all week long. What is that? Is that because we're killing humans? NSA watching us all. Clean and easy. I don't know if that was clean, but we got there. So I've seen one store in this Mantis Homeworlds. How close are we? So what do we need for Kazak? Just the event where you don't save him. But you get the quest. Is that level three um, sensors if you don't have teleporter? Level three sensors, right? Because level two heal base saves him. Level three sensors get you the quest. Okay. All right, if we get 65 scrap, maybe I'll go for, uh, I probably that's that's probably not worth spending 65 scrap for a potential chance of getting a free weapon. I don't know, I have to think about it once we get there because we might just find Kazakh beforehand anyway. You have a big giant missile. Well, let's be a hero. Hack your shield, shoot your weapons. And hope this isn't a Hermes which it probably is. Ah, oh, the dodges, man. I should have mind controlled the pilot. I thought surely this will do it. We're dead. We are fucking dead. All right, not taking that deal. Uh, I don't think we put this out in time. Ah, ouch. I guess I should have hoped for Hermes instead of a breach missile that almost one-shots me. Guy's got some insane dodges for having no pilot. Uh, I don't think we crew kill this unless we get a fire. We need a fire from you, whole laser. Breach might do it. Could you stop dodging a third of our shots with literally nobody on piloting, please? I'd appreciate that. I don't want to hack his shields because I don't want to do too much damage. Bio swipes. Okay. Okay. With basic laser, might be able to do that. Okay. Let's give it a try. Okay. There's one. Got that one. For those who don't know, bio swipe means doing a beam swipe. Timed correctly with your laser to do crew damage, but not whole damage. Two. Okay. All right, I think we got this. Good call, Mike. Good call. Frickin' Neo over here? Yeah, frickin' Neo. The dodges are in the computer. Okay, uh, that's fine. It's a, he's a mantis trying to repair shields. This is We got time to spare, and I can mind control, and we're good. Got him. All right. Uh, no double reward. Okay. These uh, crew kills are not really feeling worth right now. But hey, we got bio swipe practice. High tier FTL content. <laughs> bio swiping. Yeah. All right. So I have enough that I could do this. Do we do this for the chance of Kazakh and getting a quest that gives us a free weapon? Is this worth chat? 
How many jumps do we have? Five, four, three, two, one. Four chances. No, eh, no. Too far into the sector. Effectively playing 65 scrap for a random weapon. No, no, no. I'm effectively playing 65 scrap for a potential random weapon. I might get nothing out of it. <laughs> You're being far too optimistic. No, but there are memes. Level 3 can be helpful in nebulards. Yes. Puts us far behind. It does. If I see a store up here, I'm going to immediately regret that decision. Yeah, I don't think we can do it. I'm going to just... What I'm actually going to do is buy power right now. Saving up for a weapon or shields or hacking. Get to more scrap, you can just get the basic laser online. If you haven't seen it yet, so there's probably a 50-50 chance because I'm still in one of those jumps. Dekus, I dis disagree with that because I don't have long-range scanners. I don't know how many ship fights I've skipped already this sector. So, again, you're being a little too optimistic, I think. And you know how much I love my Kazakh, but that's far too optimistic. I'm going to have to see what his ions do. I love me Kazakh, and even I find that a stretch. More like one in four, yeah. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what the actual odds are, but... They're not good enough for how behind we are in scrap. That's for sure. But yeah, we are close to getting the basic laser online, so we either do that or shield upgrade or cloaking if you find a store that we can afford cloaking at. Think better invest in shield? Yeah, I think it's defense or an offensive upgrade, and I'm, I'm unsure which way I'm leaning right now. Oh boy, a basic laser online. Oh boy, a double missile, double laser ship. Alright, well we're hacking your weapons. Good swipe, good swipe. Sadly, not all of his missiles are down, though. Only one weapon got down. Cause... Fuck this game. Huh. Um, uh, I think we got a two damage missile down, then, is what I'm learning. Because I think we did two damage to How weapons. Alright, we're getting good dodges. There's probably a crew kill here, but with double missiles, I wasn't even going to try. So, those who are going, Rand, you could crew kill! Eh. Not a safe fight. Not a safe fight. And that's a good scrap award, so I do not regret it. I do not regret it based on my results-based analysis. <laughs> this is the five-room weapons to piloting or engines to clone bay works too. Yeah, honestly, I don't know that I ever get a five... a five-damage swipe in no pause with a whole laser hitting shield pop, 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 and not a flak insta-bursting it. I don't think the five swipe is ever going to happen without a flak or me hacking shields. All right, so no store. Here's our choices. Shields, three. Weapons for an extra basic laser. Pack, three. Let's just do like a power if we want. Hey, Wamambola, 40 months in a row. Holy shnikes. Thank you so much for over three years of support, my friend. That's amazing. It's like three and a half years or something. Um, or save for store. Well, the thing is I have two more jumps to this sector and an exit beacon. So even if I save for store, the earliest store I'm seeing is in four jumps. That makes me want to lead towards some upgrade that doesn't spend all of my scrap. Do I have anything to sell? Distraction buoys. This lets me get an offensive upgrade that lets me hack weapons and have four shots plus a whole beam. And I can back up battery and my other stuff. Yeah, I think I agree with you, Sleeping Dragon. I think I agree, and this doesn't spend all my scrap. I could buy a power, but I don't think I need to do the power if I do just the weapon upgrade. We do this. We fire basic laser and a whole laser too and a whole beam. We hack weapons and hope they don't have cloaking plus a big giant missile. 
That's 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 what I'm gonna go for. And hope we don't have a bunch of empty jumps like that. Please don't offer me fuel. Okay, intruder on dre deck. Potential free mantis. Oh, I knew that was gonna be damage. Freaking knew it was coming. Oh god, he's hacking my hacking. Oh, this is gonna be hard to get through. Okay, all right, we got the ion down. Uh, no weapon repairs. Okay, pretty decent dodges. Okay, Jesus, what an effing ship this is. Defense two drone, two shields, five weapon power. My modifier did not mean to hit that button. Oh, there's there was probably a crew kill here if I'd done this better. Oh well, it was a terrifying start to the fight, so. I kind of just need to store to repair, man. Jesus. And that's what I get for upgrading my offense. I get an instant ship that I can't get past his defense drones with, while also dealing with his offense. Jesus. No pause makes fire weapon harder harder. Yeah, it also makes hacking their weapons past double defenses drone, defensive drones really hard, too. Why not use basic laser as a buffer? Uh, I guess I would go this direction. Go 3-2-1. Yeah, that's probably better. 3-2-1 instead of 1-2-3. What I want is my basic laser to hit before the hole laser. Because hole laser is, of course, better to hit the hole for breaches and fires. Basic laser, we just want to break the shields. We get a shield value right now. We're at the exit beacon, so losing a jump doesn't matter. Those weapons are insane, so we're going to hack them. I control the pilot as I take this shot. Okay, not bad. Please don't break my backup battery. Thank you. Oh, his weapons are still up. Okay. Oh, this, this flak won't go offline, man. Come on. Okay, good dodges. Again, I don't know if there's a crew kill, but this is not safe until the flak's down. Four fuel and two drone parts. That is tempting. You didn't think of reverse order for weapons? Yeah. That is quite tempting. It's not a terrible scrap reward. I think I take that for the fuel drone parts there. Oof. I'd be feeling good on this run if I was a little higher health and had third shield or cloaking. But I feel kind of far away from those things. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. I think it's worth. Guess we'll find out if we have an instant store where I miss out on being able to get, I don't know, bears or something. All right, well, there will be stores at NG Homeworlds. There will be stores. Fleet delay. <laughs> these, these free distraction boys we've gotten have gotten us a good, what, four or five extra jumps so far this run. I will probably be selling them at the next door because that probably gets me cloaking. I will buy one fuel. One singular fuel. You don't think you've seen distraction buoys in action for many, many streaks? Well, no, I should have bought three fuel, but I'm going to do this deal because giving us a map right now wouldn't be bad. Okay, map, where's my stores? They're right next to me, so the map was not that useful. <laughs> well, I can see my two ship fights. Two. Count them, two. Oh, how greedy do I get? I think I'm going to do two jumps before the store, maybe even three. Is that too greedy? It's probably too greedy. What I'm going to do is have my engines up, be ready to hack weapons, that we run if we have a bad fight, but take a couple extra jumps for the store, because there's a there's a chance we get cloaking this sector. Hack might be an unreliable giving NGs and drones. True, it's possible. Okay. 
Actually, no, we'll just have you guys fight in there. Let that fire hack it. Well, that was all of my shots dodged. Okay. I'm about to take a crap load of damage from this first laser if I don't get some hits. Oh, here it comes. Right as my battery wears off. Okay. Could have been worse. But I'm still getting low in health, man. Low on health. Okay, we're safe now. Is there a crew kill? I don't see any fires, so it looks like no. Uh, we only took one damage from a burst laser 3 versus our two shields, so that could have been worse. Can I have a double reward, please? Nope. Nope. So I could get a uh, third shield right now, but how much scrap do I have if I sell distraction buoys? Not enough for cloaking yet, I don't think. So I'm going to take I'm going to take potentially two more jumps for the store. Oh, uh, we're riding the line here between safety and greed. Only sells for 27. Ah, uh, except they're all for free stuff. Yes. We can afford cloaking. Go to the store. Yes for NG free stuff. Yes for NG free stuff. And there's the cloaking. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. All right, now the question is, do we sell distraction buoys for repairs and fuel? The villain's vessel has widely has wisely made its retreat. In the meantime, me in the background. Screw you, civvy a-holes. What? Yeah. I think I sell distraction buoys for fuel repairs. So I cannot repair much with 17 scrap. I can repair five. We've gotten our value out of this. Great job, distraction buoys. You've done a, you've done a great job. There. All right. Okay. Now we don't go to any other stores because I have no scrap. Now we have cloaking, packing, mind control, plus weapons that are not terrible. So, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Should I go to one more jump before a store? Actually, what I could do is one, two, and then decide if we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, depending on only seven jumps, though. Let's go like two jumps, then we'll decide if we go to the store. Maybe three, we'll see. Basically, when you don't get the double reward for a fight, the event says civilian ship wisely retreated, and you just tend to get really mad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay. More free energy stuff. That could have been a... I think that could have been whole damage for scrap or an asteroid field fight, but thankfully it was an asteroid field fight. All right, one more jump. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Took great restraint for you to not secretly include distraction buoys in my mad mod pack. What, what do you mean? Like as a hidden augment or what? It's wise for them, I guess. Either they don't die when you lose or they don't have to pay when you win. <laughs> it is pretty wise for them to run away. It pisses me off. As a hidden text change mod. Oh, to call it Distraction Boys instead of Buoys? Okay. <laughs> that would have been funny if you did that. So there is a halberd beam that I could replace... What? The so whole laser 2 halberd instead of whole laser 2 basic laser hole beam? I don't like charge 2, Dekustera. To me it's too slow. It's 20 seconds for 4 shots. And if you're getting only three shots for 15 seconds, then I already have whole laser do the same thing, but cheaper. I'm looking at the halberd beam. I'm also looking at the fact that I need some fuel. And also clone bay is not bad, but I don't need it. Um, 
whole laser halberd beam with hacking. Uh, our final build would be whole laser two halberd beam, whole beam. The double beam build. It's good whole damage if I shoot a bunch of empty rooms. The micro would be very difficult. Mike, you could have changed chain laser to chump laser. That would have been a lovely addition. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess there's the option for whole laser plus charge laser, and you get six shots. Just don't love... I don't love it. Whole plus halberd plus whole laser. Can one-shot flagship in every phase, you think? Alright, I, I skipped out on a halberd beam earlier, and I regretted it. I'm going to go ahead and do this for now. Uh, keep the basic laser because again, it's a one power up and I can get as a holdover Although honestly, I feel like I should be getting third shield right now. I'm being very greedy with not getting defenses because I just got cloaking I'm really relying on my cloaking and hacking for defense You do really have a mod called distraction boys. It's as juvenile as it sounds <laughs> Eight swipe with halberd starting in piloting my control pilots remove dodge. Six from hole two and nine to ten from hole beam. I'm, I'm going to go for it. This is going to be one of those runs where I'm going to attempt to do a one shot and probably fail. I only have four jumps, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go for halberd, hole two, hole beam. Uh, this is a uh, NG quest that I need NG for. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to enough scrap to get it online. Uh, I need one more shield power. Okay, if I get some more free stuff like that. Now, that is interesting. Probably not going to use that. Is it worth having on my bar? There's no flak blue options, I don't think. But I can sell that to get the stuff I need online. Let's get one more power. Then we're going to work towards shields next, I think. Wait, did you say 9 slash 10 from whole beam? I thought it was only... Yeah, I thought it was only 9 from whole beam. But I'm no expert in beam swipes, so. Alright, let's not greed. Have you kill your friends. Oh crap, that was a bad swipe. Yeah, that's okay. Hashtag never punished. He's not charging up his charge laser. So, he's being stupid, which is perfect for us. That is like a one health mantis. Okay. With mind control, I think I can crew kill this. Mm, I hit an empty room accidentally there. Alright, so bio swipe with three shields. Uh, hold beam would have to do it. It'll be easier with hold beam anyway to not do accidental damage. It's hard to. That position is hard to not do hold damage with. Um, okay, if I start it outside of the room, that might do it. Beam's too long. Okay, okay. I think I can do this. I just got to start it a little bit further, like here. Like there. Okay. Damn it. Uh, all right, we tried. We tried. Almost had it there. Slightly late on my beam. Oh, it's hard, because the further you get it from a room, the more likely you are to, to do damage to that room. Uh, that's hard. It's hard to do with certain positioning in rooms, uh, crew positioning in rooms to bio swipe it. Halberd plus hole two are fourteen between them, so hole beam only needs to do six damage in phase one and three, and eight in phase two for the one shot. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I go shield value with this forty scrap. I don't think I really care about stores now. I just 
when I get my upgrades. Oh, I, uh, oh, I say I'm not using my full weapon power. That's because two, one, that's what I want. I do have a lot of upgrades I need to get in this next sector. I need two more weapon power, one more hacking, one more shield, two more engines, and a crap ton of power. It's, that's a lot of scrap. It's a lot of scrap. Oh my god, those dodges. Okay, it's fine. We have cloaking. We have cloaking. We'll have 90% chance of dodge. I should cloak that by itself. Thinking about crew killing his flax back online. Nah. Dodge is maxed. Our shields are getting towards being maxed. I wasn't doing uh, optimal swipes there on purpose for a potential crew kill. Holy free scrap recovery art. So we've gotten free distraction buoys, which we sold after about five scrap, five seconds worth of value. We just got scrap recovery up. Okay, now we might be able to get enough scrap to get all these upgrades I was just talking about. What's up, Farb? Whole two shots are very fast, so you have less time to place the beam. For the one shot to work, you have to micro pilot in all the phases to guarantee the whole shot's hit and swipe the halberd through pilot. Yeah, so I'll need to hack shields. Mind control pilot, swipe halberd quickly from piloting through shields to missiles. Uh, to missiles. Pull laser, the empty room between missiles and shields. And then the bio swipe, is, or the nine damage swipe is... I can probably... To not have to move my mouse very far after doing the whole laser shot in the empty room. Go shields, empty room, empty room, empty room, down right. I think shields down right will be enough damage. That's probably what I'll end up doing if you all know what I'm... I'm visualizing in my mind what I'm describing. I don't know if you all are picking up what I'm putting down there. Alright, slug or NG. I don't have long range scanners, so I think we go slug. And hope that our scrap recovery arm gets us a lot of scrap in this slug sector. I'll have to get level 202 first. Damn, I don't have level 3 hacking. Oh, that's slug sector 7. That's 5 shield potential. Ooh. Level 2 hacking and 3 laser shots. Slug, I think, has better potential for scrap, but I'm a little worried about how strong our enemies are going to be. I have to do all empty rooms in phase two, or the one from med bay to empty room. Okay. You'd lean NG. Slug is 100% more scrap on average. My worry is the power of the enemies we'll be fighting. Slug Sector 7 can be so much scrap. NG is this way. Slugs are amazing. <laughs> you say NG are cool. Slugs are weird. I think I'm going to go slug here. And trust in level 2 hacking on shields plus whole laser 2. Getting my halberd beam through. Or, you know, I could use flak instead of whole laser. That's 7 shots. It's just so much slower. But with hacking cloaking... Okay, with this I think we can do slug. I think we're going to do Slug with the Flak 2 that we got for free. Slug 7 could easily be 370 scrap with Scrap Recovery Arm. And we got instant stores, so I could potentially sell my Flak to get Hack 3. Okay, that's a dead end. All right, I'm going to go one jump before this store and not get the level 202. If it's the worrying radiation event, I should have enough crew to deal with that. I can hack weapons. Flak 2 plus Halberd will hopefully get me through four or five shields. I'm going to go to the store and hopefully get level 3 hacking and not have to worry about the five shield potential. Okay, it's a good fight for us. 
easily just hack weapons here. Mind control the borders in my O2. Hope he doesn't dodge our entire volley. Perfect. Beautiful. And we cloak the bomb. Look at us getting value out of flak, too. Look at... Oh, it's a stun bomb. Okay. It's fine. Flak 2 value. Look at the value. So value much wow. 57 scrap. That was augmented by uh, scrap recovery. And that's a great start to the sector. Great scrap start. And we could sell the scrap recovery arm at the store. I guess it'll depend on what's at the store if I want to buy anything. My goal is to buy th nothing, sell some stuff, get hacking upgraded, and then work towards these upgrades we're trying to get going. What do we think, chat? What's what's scrap recovery arm value in Sector 7? Holy long range scanners and pre igniter. Holy flak one. Ooh, okay. All right, well, we're always selling this. Oh, man, we have some choices. We have some choices. I could keep the plan of whole laser, whole beam, halberd beam, or I could just get flak one. If we get 50 plus scrap, that's an extra five scrap per fight. We could just pre-ignite Flak too. I feel like pre-igniter is a debate here. Because if we spend 120 scrap on pre-igniter, how are we ever getting shields 3, weapons 8, engines 5, and all the power we need for that? I, I think pre-igniter is a big old debate. I mean, it would be pre-ignited Halberd Flak 2 potentially, but I think pre-igniter is too debatey here. All right, I'm always going to sell this. The question is if I'm going to go flak or not. Flak 1, that is. Brigner is cheaper than weapons 8. Yeah, but... I have a one-shot the enemy build if I can micro it correctly. I'm leaning towards this upgrade here. Power. Although if we go hack three, cloak two, we're safe in all fights, right? Well, I can't, I can't, I can't get through shields unless I'm hacking shields. Yeah, set. I, I, you all know my love of flak. I think, I think I don't get flak. My goal right now is third shield. Get get my get my defenses up, and then get weapons. Yeah, if we can one shot the enemy. Who cares about lots of shields? Well, we have to have our weapons be online for us to one shot them. And three shields means we probably take damage potentially in our weapons. So we still do need three shield minimum, four dodge minimum, for the guaranteed cloak. So I'm going to do this. How much fuel do I need for this sector? Currently, I'm good on fuel. I'm going to only do... I'm going to do the dodge first. A little bit of power. I can hack three shields, whole laser halberd beam weapons. Cloak the first volley for now. I think I'm going to probably skip the second store. Flak 2 Halberd will take care of what we see. I sold Flak 2. Alright, here's the Worrying Radiation event. And he only has three shields, so I am going to hack weapons while I deal with the borders, which are in my mind control. Good. 
good. Bomb down. Borders dealt with. Okay. Cool. This is always the most worrying event, but we should be good now. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. What the hell? I thought he hit my weapons. Oh, God damn it. For some reason, I hit one and it didn't place and I got all screwed up with my micro there. Jesus, he's dodging like a mofo too. Well, dodging just enough to not get our full volley through. Wow. Okay, let's just cloak. Let's cloak that. There it is. Got him. All right. Only one damage that fight. Could have been worse. Now I can heal my crew. God, worrying radiation. It's not worrying radiation. You're cheating, slugs. You freaking cheaty slugs. Black 2 still good for this sector. I, I, keeping a weapon that I'm only going to use for this sector is banking on me finding a Sector 8 store to sell it. And that sounds like a big old waste for all you folks who wanted to keep Flak 2 just for now. Um, I, my plan is to go to zero stores to get as much scrap as possible to get all the stuff online that we need. So I plan on going to no more stores. Unless I want to sell scrap cover arm at the end of this sector or something. I exited the honeymoon with phase with black one. Eh, I don't know about that. I'll still go on a honeymoon with black one any day. I just don't buy it every potential possible time I could potentially possibly get it. Okay, we're safe from damage. If only mind control was useful here. At least they don't have cloaking. This is just one of the few times where, where even with how cheap Black One is, I did not pull the pilot, damn it. Um, I don't think it's the right play to get. Okay, he is running, but he shouldn't be able to get out. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're just too tight on scrap to get all the upgrades I want to get. So spending any scrap at all on weapons right now feels too expensive. All right, one more power. Then I'm going to leave myself at four engines until I can get the weapons upgraded, maybe. Is this a dive sector? It might be. Uh, he's going to hack my doors. I might need my... Ha I do need my hacking. Okay, he's going to burn me out. We need to cloak the bomb. Because that's a firebomb, 100%. Okay. Breach the weapons. That's good. Do, 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 ba, do, ba, do, ba, do, do. Nice. No dodges. You're dead. You're dead. 55 scrap. Beautiful. All right, man. We might just be able to get this full one-shot build online. There's the power. 90 for weapons and another 100 for weapons and then power for weapons and then power for mind control and then another engine. All right. Yes, this is absolutely a dive sector. How do we do it? Here we go across down and around to end here or here and then into the dive here which we probably get eight more jumps is my guess if i'm if i'm hanging out in nebulas for all these jumps do i need level yeah I, you know what i better get level 202 still eh, eh, i want to get the weapons uh, going around a slug sector with no level 202, that's... I'm going to get the O2. Feels too risky. So this gives us the guaranteed ship fight event, right? The one where it's 
lead, let them uh, pursue, leave them to pursue the cash or whatever. Damn, okay, so we skipped the store. Okay, well, that's final beacon before we exit, so that's cool. So if we get this in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, something like that. Just kill them before we run out of two. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about it. Um, I'm gonna hack shields. In my cloaking. Kill the humans. Cloak that. Good swipe. Not enough scrap. I need a lot more scrap than that. Game. I have a lot of upgrades I need. Especially after I just did the uh, O2 upgrade that maybe I didn't need. 38. Wow, that was... Was that six more scrap than the, the uh, surrender offer? Because I upgraded O2, I definitely won't need the O2 upgrade. <laughs> I believe you. I believe that that is a correct statement. Never skip store. Why Why would I go to store when I have everything I need to win? I just need to get it online. Stores win runs unless you go to them when you have no scrap or don't need anything from them, but you go to them anyway. I don't think I need scrap uh, stores. I need scrap. Scrap recovery arm. To sell scrap recovery arm? Uh. So... Here's the thing about going to a store to sell a scrap of covering arm at the end of the run. We get 20 from selling it. 25. If I get a single jump that is is a ship fight that gains me scrap that's worth more than 25 scrap, then going to the store is worth less than going to a ship fight with the scrap of covering arm that we keep. Now... The fact that I don't know where my ship fights is means maybe it's worth because it's at least guaranteed 25 scrap, but I don't think going to a store when I just want ship fights to gain scrap is worth is is, is worth a potential loss of a ship fight going to a store. One, two, three, four, five. Lorraine, stores win runs. <laughs> Always skip stores unless you're buying a fire beam. Okay. Well, so far, it's looking like stores better because these jumps are all empty, but that's results-based analysis. So, is it more likely to have ship fights at non-nebulas or nebulas in slug sectors? I don't know. What percent of scrap recovery arm? Uh, was it 10% more? Yeah, 10% more. Uh, so we ask to see the goods. Continue. Understood. Forget this. Should be a ship fight, I think. There it is. Okay. Only a single border. Good. I think that's the only way to get a ship fight there without the slug for the blue option. I am remembering some events that I didn't used to do correctly, so all this FTL play and my brain is memorizing all these ridiculous events. Is that a good thing? I don't know. It means I got FTL on the brain. Wow, that was a lot of dodges. Okay, let's just wait for the hacking to come up. And let's just shoot at an empty room. That should just kill him. Good. You've been reading and watching demos on a new Intel CPU vulnerability. Wow. This guy is stealing encryption keys and text... Steal encryption keys and text directly from the CPU downfall dot page. I have no idea what any of that means. But interesting, I guess. Do I do the power? I am going to do the power as I get the weapon. You got your AK run with a scrap recovery arm, huh? 
get buy 50 sell 25 get less what are you talking about 90 i would absolutely have sold scrap recovery arm if i if going to the store hadn't lost me a potential ship fight i'd absolutely sell a scrap recovery arm the reason i didn't want to go to the store was not to avoid selling it was to avoid losing out on a ship fight that's worth more scrap than the scrap recovery arm selling at a store yeah, there's still potential scrap recovery arm value in Sector 8. Again, to me, it's less about that and more about opportunity costs of missing a ship fight. Right now, all I care about is ship fights for scrap. Not... If, like, if there if there was a store at the exit beacon, I would sell a scrap recovery arm. All right, hey, Mantis, oversee the repairs. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, this is the... Um, we fight the guy until they run away... And then we leave to go get the high, guaranteed high scrap recovery or high scrap on this cash event. We engage the pirate. We fight. Oh, that's double missiles. Okay. We should one shot to trigger the event, though, I think. Especially if I hit empty rooms. Double cloak that. There. Then we let him escape, go out to the slug, guaranteed high scrap. That's the best scrap reward on that event, I think. Without some other... There might be some blue option to get higher rewards, but I can't remember what it is. When you connect to your bank, you use... You create encryption keys to secure the connection. If a malicious user gets your encryption keys and logs network packets, they can decrypt your banking information. Okay. Sounds like one of many scary things that can happen on the internet for people getting your passwords. I, I've had my passwords to my bank and PayPal stolen before. So it sucks, but I feel like banks are decently well equipped to fight a lot of that stuff now. That was a very symmetrical build. Oh, it was. It was, except that you're eh, until we saw that it was one Leto and one Artemis. All right, so we will be hacking weapons... If only I could get one more jump. I don't want to dive in a half power nebula, so nebula's not going to do that. Assume they try to take you as a slave or something if it's not Mantis. On that one, um, no, they can like freely disable some of your systems or something, I think. I forget the exact uh, everything that happens on that event. It's a really annoying one, though. Nice weapons. Yeah, we have a one-shot build. They're in my mind control. If we do it right. Come on, these fucking dodges. All right, let's get out of here. Can I force them into the heal bay? Cool. All right, we got the weapons. We got almost everything I wanted. I still want level 5 engines and a couple more power and value points. That's what I like, but we have kind of bare minimum of what we need for the one shot, I think. Yeah, one more power will give me bare minimum. Let's hope we get some scrap this sector. Two force jumps at the beginning of sector 8. Not the best. How do I want to... What's the order of my weapons? I actually want Halberd first, then Hole Laser Shot, then Hold, hold Beam. Is that what I want? Against non-boss, I probably want to go 3, 2, 1, maybe. Maybe maybe that. 3, 2, 1, something like that. Did I get partnership? If not, when will I know? Uh, exclamation point partner answers that question. All right, I'm just going to try to one-shot everybody who's not the nyang nyang time shenanigans. Quick answer is no. Uh, the quick answer is not yet. Hopefully sometime in the near future. Not yet. Soon, TM. Soon. Apparently meeting... 
uh, minimum requirements is not enough. Which kind of sucks. But uh, you can read the response there. Cloak 3 is not what I want to get. I want to get engines 5 and then other value points. And I want enough power to be able to power all my stuff. Cloak 3 is nice, but if we're one-shotting the boss, why do we need to cloak for 15 seconds instead of 5 seconds? I guess you could uh, cloak with the boss, but I don't... Uh, at least it's not a forced dive. I, I think it's better to get other things other than cloak 3 if we're one-shotting three phases of the boss. Not guaranteed that we're one-shotting because I might miss micro it or something, but we're going to try to do triple one-shot. Makes you wonder why they even have minimum requirements. I know, right? I know. Oh my gosh, outposts could be double reward in Sector 8 with... Whatchamacallit could be amazing. Okay. Why well, have minimum requirements if they don't requirements if they don't matter? I wish I knew. We've talked about a lot over the last couple days. I, I I'm sure it's something to do with Nice double reward. Although that was kinda low for those two rewards, but it's still double reward in sector eight. I think it has something to do with there's just a robot. AI email response that looks at your, uh, receives the application. You're not even allowed to send an application until you hit minimum requirements. If you hit minimum requirements and send the application, it looks at how long you've been streaming, how consistently you've hit these minimum requirements, and then has some other hidden requirement of consistent months in a row having hit the minimum requirements before you will be approved. That's what I think it is, but I don't know. All right, now everything else is value points. So let's go cloaking value, piloting value. Level three cloak would be for phase three where you need to get through Zoltan Shield. Okay, I guess that's true. I told you to tell them you're a girl kitty streamer. You would have gotten five time partnerships. Okay. I'm sure my viewership would be much higher, higher if I actually was one of those. Telling them, telling a robot something is probably not going to be very useful. Starting flagship fight with whole laser depowered should let you pre-aim it as long as you time the hacking. Why would I start with any of my weapons pre-depowered? I don't, I don't understand that, Ellie Mert. Why would starting weapons depowered do anything useful? All right, let's stop talking about people's body parts being shown on stream. I don't. I'm, we're not going to be doing that. Phase three is more like a three shot. Yeah, takes two shots to get through Zoltan Shield. But we call it a three shot or a one shot. Because it's a one-shot. Damn it, I messed up my swipe there. Because I had my weapons in different order than I thought I had them. Uh, because one-shot once, we're finally through the Zoltan Shield. You can't actually one-shot phase through with any weapon system. So, you know. <laughs> he died to either the mind control or the fire. Nice. Holy firebomb. Holy triple reward, Sector 8. Okay, these are some pretty amazing rewards. It's actually an NG that took insult to your comments about their combat and is purposely holding out my partner application. Yeah, it's probably that. Let's you line up the shots. I I I don't understand how depowering helps anything with weapon timing. Line up the shots and not necessarily having to do the swipes easily enough. Are you saying if I you're saying if I pre-aim my weapons so I don't have to aim them as the shields go down? That seems suboptimal play, to be honest. Okay, let's do shield value. That honestly just feels like suboptimal play to, to do that. To pre-aim your weapons on hard no-pause. To hope that it times out perfectly with 
Hacking? I don't know. I don't know about that. You can leave it aim before it shoots with hacking timing. I don't I don't understand how that timing is better or easier or less micro intensive, maybe slightly less micro intensive than just aiming your weapons right as the right as the hacking goes uh, finishes. That seems really easy to mess up. Okay, at least we don't have any not enough time shenanigans, so I do like that. Maybe some people have trained that timing wow, or something, I don't know. He dodged just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. If you can just aim your beams quickly enough, you don't need to do that shenanigans. You can one-shot phase three with double ion bomb, double glaive. So all you need to do is cheat and use Masala maneuver and you can do it. Holy double rewards. That's the third double reward phase three, uh, phase eight, uh, phase eight, sector eight. Holy crap. Only time you've used double ion bomb against phase three to dodge both shots you aimed at the super shield. You were so mad. Yeah, you can only do what he's describing, Mr. Bread Baps, if you use a, if you have a pre-igniter and do a strat that I find a little cheaty called the, uh, the uh, Sven Maneuver. Did I say Masala? Sven Maneuver. Okay, power, value, value. I think it's about as cheaty as the hacking bypass. It probably is. The reason I call it cheaty is, um... Well, for one thing, I, I don't think you could do it on no pause. I don't think Sven Maneuver is really possible on no pause. I don't think even Hollow has the micro to make Sven Maneuver possible on no pause. But... I don't know. It feels cheat. I, I don't... I guess it feels cheaty to me because you can't do it on no pause, but that's probably not a good reason to think to make it feel cheaty. But, you know... Britnaw thinks uh, the uh, the hacking bypass trick is cheaty, so everybody has their own ideas of what is and isn't cheaty. Um, has Farb done Sven Maneuver on no pause? Now we ask if Farb is here. All right, so the hacking that screws us is weapon hack, and that's the main one. He has done Sven Maneuver on no pause. What is the maneuver? It's a maneuver that with pre-igniter, if if I were to if I had pre-igniter right now and I depowered, let's see. If I did that and then instantly jumped, like say that, then I would jump with three weapons fully charged and another one almost fully charged. It's Taking advantage of the fact that when you depower weapon, it doesn't instantly depower. It'll be partially powered, so it's essentially pre-charging more than eight weapon power when you jump. So something like that. And I have a firebomb that I'm not actually going to probably use because we're going to try to one-shot. It was like double pre-igniting, yeah. All right, what are you hacking? Do I need to jump away from a weapon hack? Perfect hack. Okay. All right. So, hold halberd beam across. Cloak the missile. There it is. You should have zero goddamn dodge with this ship. Damn it! Damn it! Ah, uh, now I take damage for the fail. Oh, that's a good double dodge. I re, I re, I re-aimed the halberd instead of the hull beam. All right, it's fine. How did you dodge? We only take one damage from the fail. And this is why I don't like the one-shot builds, man. They're so hard for me to do. I'm just not very good at beam beam micro. Beam micro is hard on no pause, and I effing failed it. Freaking failed it, man.
Yeah, you can use Sven Maneuver to fully charge... Charge weapons if you're patient. Ah, oh, it sucks when I fail something like that because I want to get good at it. That freaking beam micro is so hard. I think I need to go one, two, three to do that. Because I go halberd beam, a whole laser, empty room, then whole beam position. It to me the hardest part about beam micro and no pause is moving the mouse to the correct starting location. I didn't mind control the pilot either. There you go. See, there's like three steps I freaking missed. But beam in the right location. So if I try it on this one, I hack shields. I should I should hack shields as the hack's about to finish. Mind control pilot. Halberd pilot down to uh pilot down to missiles. Pull laser to empty room. Pull beam. This this time is going to have to be from med bay up through the empty rooms. God, it's so hard. It's so freaking hard. The window is so tiny. Now we have a boarding drone to deal with with these two guys to micro as well. Couldn't do one extra jump. It's almost like this is a hard game and what I'm doing is really hard stuff to do or something. It's almost like that. It's almost like hard game is hard. No one shot. Okay. I think Holbeam has four empty rooms. Swipe down near drones as easier. Okay. If only I could pause and, you know, <laughs> think about my swipes. It wouldn't be so hard. Thank you for the 30 months in a row. Plunder Pig, appreciate it. Blood Moon Rand to signify the anniversary. Hey, there's a new one. Blood Moon for my orange face. Nice. Eight damage Holbeam is still a one shot. All right. So let me... Let me think it through. 65 scrap gives me an extra... Uh, what? Force phase 3. Cloaking 3. Oh, I don't have the backup battery. I always forget the backup battery upgrade value point. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana R. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Okay, so when the boss jumps here, we do have one pop-up. We're going to use that pop-up to talk about our swipe plan. So if I wait, these two guys deal with the boarding drone. I don't cloak the missile in case I mess up the swipe and need to cloak the drone phase. Although if I don't cloak the missile, he might missile my weapons, which will ruin the one shot. Hope I'm doing well. I'm doing all right. About to get our second win, and I'm gonna have to decide if we go for a third run today, which will make me go super late, but I might do it. We'll have to see. Yeah, okay, so the swipe that I want to do is I'd hack shields, mind control pilot, halber beam swipe there, because with mind control pilot and that swipe, he won't have any dodges. Hole laser here, hole beam here. That is a four swipe hole beam. Is that guaranteed? Uh, one shot. 2468. 246. 14. 2468. 14 plus 8. 22. That is a guaranteed one shot. So if I if I hack his if I cloak his missiles, that should be a guaranteed one shot if I don't fail it. Unless one of my shots hits a drone. Oh, you're right. Oh, I could hit a drone. So do I cloak the missile and hopefully get the one shot, or do I not cloak the missile and hope his missile doesn't hit my drones? Thank you for the raid, Panda Bear Productions. I think I'm gonna level two cloak. I think I'm gonna level two cloak the missile. All right, here we go. Late. I get it. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. 
I was I forgot the mind control, man. I keep forgetting the mind control. It's fine. We delayed the cloak long enough that we should be good. Okay. We were slight if I'd mind controlled slightly earlier. Damn it, it's so hard. Giggity, that's what she said. So difficult to make that happen, man. We did the swipe right. I did it slightly too late because my I had to mind control the pilot and move my mouse around. So travel time of mouse screwed us up there. Yeah, almost had it. So freaking hard, man. It's a lot of micro. Also, that's what she said. Yes. And we have the mind control counter. Problem is we have a lot of boarders coming because I haven't done any crew killing. So this is definitely a runaway. This is definitely abduction strats. While I auto fire my weapons, deal with the boarders. It's the only thing we can buy. Okay, so let's have level two heal bay up, I guess. Yes, yeah, so much micro. Okay, all right. So prevent these rooms. Hope they don't board my piloting. What are my thoughts on End of the Breach? It's a great game. Um, I 100 percented it when it first came out. Uh, unfair difficulty is so ridiculous that I just didn't enjoy it enough, and it felt too RNG-based and not skill-based enough for me to keep playing it. But it's a great game. All right, we did not get... We did get a couple of side room bug crew kills, looks like. late. They do get to do one damage there. I'm not going to cloak this. Fuck you, FDL. And that is a fire in there, which is bad. Jesus, the freaking fires. I did not mean to fire that. Okay. Okay, guys, get out. Let's get out. Okay, something's still burning. Uh, you are venting. I was about to spiral, so I think it was worth running away there. I think we're good. That right there is why you follow the boss and then run away. Because if things start spiraling, which that was really close to getting completely out of hand, then you have a guaranteed safe place to jump. Okay, seven damage. Should be good. Should be good to deal with the rest of his borders. Whew. Do you feel like it's not as replayable as FTL? Yeah, Into the Breach is a great game, but I don't think it's nearly as replayable as FTL. I mean, maybe if I played it more, I would change my mind. But Unfair Difficulty just feels like there's too much... Like, the way that um, the enemies start with so many high-level enemies right from the beginning, and it's random where they get placed, it feels far too random to have successful runs on unfair difficulty. It doesn't feel like you can outskill it. Would my thoughts change if I were playing a game on stream versus in private? On Into the Breach? I mean, I've only ever played it on stream, so I don't know that my thoughts would change about that. But it's a very different game, so I agree it's really hard to compare. Two hole shots probably caused breaches and drew crew into the side room there. Yeah, I meant to fire... I'm going to move this. I'm going to go... Because I need to go one, one, two, three. I meant to fire a beam that wouldn't pre me out of cloaking earlier. I mean, say the unfair is unfair. Kappa, lol, lol, kappa. Good one. Good one. Okay, uh, two borders max. Okay, again, don't cloak the first missile. Hopefully, don't get triple, triple, double missile missiles, man. The double fires, I mean. Okay, well, not double fires at least. Okay, could you could you stop mind controlling my pilot, please? Okay, we're through. Why he dodged everything? Great dodges. Great dodges. Oh, 
Oh, that was the hit. That was a hit and he dodged. I actually did the, I did the, I did it right that time and then he effing dodged it. That's fine. We got the win. We got the win. There it is. Three almost one shots. Second one, slightly too slow and the last beam didn't hit, right? Third one, uh, he dodged the final shot that would have one shot. First one, I think I missed my card or something. All right, but I will GG cookie time that because that is two wins. That is Kestrel B. Honestly, that run felt a lot harder than it should should have been. Also, Giggity, that's what she said. So that is two in a row. There's a current streak of two. Fifty-five eighty-six. I guess that was not a terrible run. Definitely a better score than our last run. Wow. Sector 3 Mantis. Look at how crappy that Sector 3 was. Sad firebomb noises. Noises, you know. But that Sector 7 and 8 were amazing. Perfect timing. You don't have to work in a couple minutes. GG. All right. See you later, Trey. Oh, man. Yeah, we were able to farm Sector 8 like crazy. All right. Um... I'm really unsure if I want to do a third run today. And if it's a boarding ship, I absolutely don't want to do a third run today. So, but this is a little end, a little early to end. Um, so let me uh, stand up, start to use the restroom. When we come back, we might do something like another tier list or something. Because I just don't know if I want to do full run. But we'll decide when I come back. You all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. We come back, we'll decide if we do another run or... Just do something else. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.